Hey everyone, today on Feathers Off-Road, I wanted to start getting into the guts of this electrical system a bit, pulling some of these plastics off. The main thing I want to add is a headlight, and I'm hoping that there's maybe a 12 volt tap somewhere. Uh, but first I want to walk through a little bit of how I got the seat off, the plastics off, and go to that point. First thing to come off is the seat. These are two 12 millimeter bolts up here at the back, and then the seat will just pull straight back and off. There are five five millimeter hex screws that need to be undone. Two in the back, kind of three up here in the front. There's a metal clip that holds that lower one on. Just careful not to lose anything, but once these are all unscrewed, this plastic will pretty much pop straight off. I've gotten everything undone. It comes off in a piece like this. It does come apart. There are actually two pieces. And then really you're just going to repeat this for the other side. It's the same I just need to undo this last little piece here and then we'll get this all taken apart. But you can already see, we can see much more of the battery, the wiring. Next, we need to take off the gas tank. It's a 10 millimeter bolt up top. It's built to just hug around the battery. The gas cap does unscrew for some reason. And you can see I've already lost part of this handle on the battery. Uh, don't know when or how, maybe it was always like that, but you can see as far as battery removal, this would be pull the seat off gas tank and then this in theory should pull right up and out. We've got heavy gauge cables that run from there back to the first of two controllers actually. And you can see a number of wires. We'll look closer at this in just a second, but wanted to call out this controller. I'm gonna have to plug in some of these values into Google Translate, but I'm guessing, you know, we have 400 amp peak 150 amp nominal maybe 120 degree temperature not sure i think off to the right this 72 400 is a model number so i'm going to capture a few of these items down in the description on this video and i'll go look these up later from here the blue yellow and green wires make their journey just kind of down right to the motor itself there is another wire kind of in this harness that goes back up to the controller um, there is this other secondary controller here, and I was trying to take a picture of this. I couldn't really capture it, but it says 10 amp, 120 watt max. Not sure what that means. I've got to follow the wires here a little bit more. Up front, pretty much every wire from the throttle display and everything ends up in this harness right behind where a headlight would be. This is a rat's nest. I'm going to pull this apart. Probably I'm going to find my headlight tap in there. Here is the horn. The voltmeter I've shown in some other videos sits right above this. The voltmeter on the dash doesn't actually do anything. This is the only accurate one. Lower down, this is the actual potentiometer for the throttle. So when you pull the throttle cable, this wheel twists and goes through this cable clip. This cable clip wire goes back into that main harness and travels all the way back to the controller. So I'm wondering at some point if I'll have a throttle issue just because of where that's positioned and exposed, but eventually it makes it back into here through these other large wire clips. I've got these green, yellow, and blue wires. I showed this a little bit before, but just to show more exactly where they go, they travel through this zip tie, down past the charger, zip tied, zip tied, all the way down to the motor. And then that one solid black wire goes back up. The fourth one goes back up to the controller on the far side. I wanted to check some of the voltages I was really glad to see that these are not exposed. When I saw metal caps, I thought maybe this was gonna be conductive, but even with the key on or off, I can't read anything out of these two metal caps. So, you know, from a river crossing perspective or something else, this is all right. However, back here, right under the seat, these ones are live. Um, we can see the voltage on my voltmeter plus the digital display and the key is on. So. You know, you can't go deeper than your seat in a river, at least not past here, or you're not going to have a good day. Checking some of these other wires, this one was interesting. So the blue, yellow, and green each put out individually around 13 and a half. This, this would vary. Battery up front is still reading 79. So inside this controller, it's dropping down into three different 13 and a half volt strands. So... I'm not an expert in these electric motors. If this is something like three phase power and each leg gets 13 and a half volts, I'm not sure. 
I noticed that the charger, the wire harness protection had kind of come off and I noticed that three of these pins aren't even hooked up. I pulled this back a little bit more and it's only the bottom two that actually do anything. Um, checking voltage. Again, we're showing almost 79 volts, same as up front. So going back to my river crossing example, you actually don't want to get any lower than the charging port. So about the middle of your shin is going to be exposed electrically if you were to go that deep. This was all I had time to get into today. I'm going to start throwing this back together. I think I left with more questions than answers. The wire harness is super tight, so I'll probably put this back together and do another video on behind the headlight. But until next time, enjoy the ride.